so and uh, not a thousand other things okay so assuming we have the same starting position I hope I'm not wrong and I'm gonna play knight e4 I really hope it's the same position See, yeah I just checked it's the same one cd5 okay so I take I still know the position I play this line sometimes castles is one of the tricky lines that I like to play e6 is the main move hitting the knight so now I'm preparing e6 or e5 e3 okay now I think the move is e6 but just to mix it up a little bit I'll play c6 see what happens takes knight takes it's probably bad because knight e4 but if he plays knight f3 it will transpose oh bishop b5 okay e5 attacking the knight oh my god i have no idea what's going on but it feels good because ed is coming next with tempo bishop c6 nice okay my intuition tells me that ed is looking like a good idea when two pieces are hanging it's a good idea to attack a third one <laughs> Just uh, from dynamic point of view, it's a principle that's not always right, but I heard it when I was younger. And uh, no, the opponents are not blind, and not blindfolded either. <laughs> okay, my opponent is thinking, so that's a good sign. I have a good chance of flagging him, winning on time later on. All right. So should take and now another idea is to play bishop a6 and prevent him from castling okay knight f3 i think it's a good idea might be terrible so we'll discover soon enough it might be a terrible move <laughs> but if i see the position correctly then it's really good for me because now i just give a check his king cannot go to f1 which would be uh, the best square for him to hide in the king side. He went to d1. Okay, good, good. It means I see something. Okay, so I see my bishops are very active. The knights are here and here. He wants to go king c2. I want to have queen f5 check, so I'll develop my queen here. Queen f5 check if he goes king c2. big threats let's go queen g4 attacking the pawn on g2 pinning the knight <clears throat> okay he took i took i think i keep track of all the pieces if i'm not wrong these are my pawns these are his pawns he's a pawn up it makes it easier for me actually to, to look at the position this way so we played with the king so now I can give a check like I wanted or take a pawn I'm not sure which one is better mm, it's hard to, to evaluate I like giving the check more. It feels nicer because if he develops the rook, he will feel it almost okay. So now I expect king c1 here. And then I will go something like. Okay, I have no idea what I will do, but at least he cannot develop. Maybe bishop c4, bishop b3 is a good idea. And then. Okay, went back to d1, so it makes it even stronger. I go bishop c4 because his pawns are here. Bishop b3 check. It's a very nice looking move. Rook c1, okay. Just playing to my hands. Check. Rook c2 is the only move that I can see. And then I want to go bishop h6, increasing the pressure. And now, if he takes, queen takes c2, I think he's a mate. Oh, 
AB3? No! I thought the pawn was on A3! <laughs> oh my god, no, no, this is bad. Why did I think it was on A3? <laughs> oh my god, this was bad. This was really bad. <laughs> AB3, and I pre moved Bishop H6! Oh my god! <laughs> and it took it! Oh my god. This is insane. And I could have taken on G2 a move ago. <laughs> oh my goodness. Queen D2. Okay, I think I think I'm lost, but I'm gonna keep on playing a little. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. Now he starts playing quickly to show me who's the boss. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh, this is so bad. Okay, I'll try to keep up with the position. So, it's not easy, especially now with all the pieces missing. So I have a pawns here. So I'll go here. I think this, protect this guy. What now? I have no idea what to do next. I think I'm just gonna resign, but okay, just for the challenge, I'll keep playing some more moves. Because I, I, there's always a chance to flag him. <sighs> oh my god. Okay, so the pawns are probably here. The knights are here. Let's make a different color. The knights are here. The queen is here. Moved here. Okay. I think I can... Okay, he wants to go Queen C4. Okay, I don't have much to do against it. I go King G7. <sighs> so difficult. Queen F3. Oh no, now he's exchanging the Queens. This is so bad. This is really bad. I missed it. Okay. Takes. Knight takes. I don't want to exchange the rooks. Let's go here. Oh man, this is so bad. King d3. Okay. Let's go h5. Knight d4. Rook b8. Knight c5 is protecting the. On. What can I do? I don't see a move, but he has not enough time to to play. Okay, I'll just go back maybe, or okay, let's go a5, whatever. A4, just to mix it up. Oh my God! If he takes, I take on b2. He goes rook b7. Nice move, actually. Can I play some sneaky? Move like a3, probably not. I don't want to lose on time also, so probably I should play faster. Okay, whatever. I'm so tired of this game. <laughs> I'm gonna win on time. You'll see. You'll see. I will win on time. Oh, now he wants to mate me. Almost. Okay, I'm running away. I'm running away. I'm running away. A5. Is it hanging? I don't think it's hanging. I think he has a pawn on B4. Okay, let's go here. I'm running. 94 check. Is it? Oh my god, it's very close to mate. I'm so scared. I don't see anything about the position. Where are the pieces? His knights are on E4 and G4. see anything okay I'm gonna play on the regular board because I don't see the position anymore sorry okay sorry about it oh I cannot make moves on the regular board oh man okay I'm just gonna have to to play quickly
I don't see the position. Oh man, it's so bad. Where's the position? Did I lose? Oh my god. I don't see where the pieces are, just randomly clicked. <laughs> oh my god. I took a sneak at the end after he played rook h2 check to see where my king is. It was on h6, but... Wow, this was so difficult. Oh man. I couldn't see the position. Okay. So... Yeah. This was very, very dramatic. Dramatical. Oh my god. Okay, so... Another game. <laughs> Thank you.